Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today, we are making this awesome sober granny in a spiral cowl hoodie or snood. What is a snood? A snood is a cowl big enough to pull up over your head. So you can kind of turn it into a hood like a hoodie, like that. It is so cute, great, looks gorgeous on. Nice, delicate stitch. The best thing about it, easy one row repeat. And by row, I mean it is a repeat. You just keep going, working in a spiral. So there's no joining and you just keep doing the same thing. Perfect for chatting with friends or watching TV. You're working into a space, not a stitch. It is really fast, really easy, and it looks great. If you want to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. There's also a pattern for fingerless gloves and a tutorial if you wanted to make a set of this snood or cowl or hoodie with the fingerless gloves would make a great gift. I made the Sober Granny in a spiral snood using Ice Yarns, this gorgeous terracotta color, and a nine millimeter crochet hook. If you are using a chainless foundation to start, then you just need this hook. If you are gonna do a chain and then work your single crochets into that chain to start, you will also need a larger hook. I would use a 10 millimeter, which is the purple clover, but it is upstairs and not here. So if you are doing the chain, then use a larger hook than your nine millimeter just for the chain. You will also need a stitch marker to keep track of where you are in your spiral, a needle for sewing in your ends later, and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. So there are two ways of starting. I will show you the first one, which is just making a regular chain. And I'll just show you really simply. Use your larger hook. This is too big, but just for sample sake. Use your larger hook and you're gonna chain a multiple of four or 72. So you'll just be making your chain like this. And then switching over to your regular size hook turning it over and starting in your second chain, one single crochet into each stitch. So just working into those back loops. It's easier if you use a bigger hook for your starting chain and that will also help your snood not be too tight on one side. It'll help it have the same stretch on top and bottom. So you would just go through doing your row of single crochet just like this. And we're gonna turn it into a ring at the second the second row. So make sure you leave a long enough tail and you would just keep going like this, making one single crochet into each stitch. Also working into the back loops, both sides look great. So this is the bottom side, our chain looks really nice and that will be what it looks like at the top. Also looks nice, what so matches. So that's one way of doing it. You can chain 72 with a larger hook and make one single crochet into each chain. Or if you want to be more adventurous, just use your one hook, your nine milli. Again, leave a long enough tail to sew together at the end later. But make a slip knot, put it onto your hook, and chain two. One and two. Now just working into this first chain, I'm just going to push my hook right into that first chain and grab my yarn and bring it back through and chain one. So that is my chain. Now I'm gonna hold it open. You can see there's two strands together and one farther by my fingertip. I'm just gonna put my thumbnail in between those two. So there's one strand on the top of my fingernail and two strands underneath my thumb. And then make your single crochet. So wrap and take off two. Now into that spot I was holding open with my thumb. Put your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it through and make your chain. So take off one. Separate that stitch again. So one strand in front of your thumb, two strands under. Wrap your yarn and do your single crochet. So take off two. Again, put your hook in where your thumb was. Bring your yarn back and do your chain. So chain one. Find that spot, keep it open with your thumb 
and wrap your yarn and do your single crochet. So take off two. So we're just doing our chain and our single crochet together at the same time, so you don't have to work into your chain. So again, put your hook in to where you were holding it open, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off one, pinch it, wrap your yarn and take off two. Put your hook in to where you were holding it open, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off one, pinch it, wrap your yarn and take off two. So you can just keep going like that and that also gives you a really nice starting edge with your chain and a really nice finished edge with your single crochet. So that's how I'm going to be doing mine, just working a chainless foundation and I'll also link a video, a tutorial I did just for this stitch uh, in the cards up above if you want a little refresher on it. So the gist of it is you just remember to do your chain first and then your single crochet. So in, chain first, single crochet, in, chain first, single crochet. So you're just doing them at the same time. So pause the video and do your chain. You want it to be 72 chains long or 28 inches. To count your chains, just go back along where you started and you want to just count this first V at the top. So there is one, two, three, and four. And we want to do multiples of four. So no matter what length you're making yours, you want it to be multiples of four. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be doing a small sample to get started. So for your row of single crochet, you just kind of want to lay it down flat. Make sure there's no twists on it. You want it to be nice and flat. And then pick up both sides and you want to just go straight into that very first single crochet that we made and make one single crochet to join. One single crochet. And don't worry about this all being open underneath. We're going to use this tail to stitch that together when we are done. Chain two, one and two. And now we're going to turn our work. And this is to help our cowl or our snood not curl up and we're going to work right in to this very first stitch right over here. So wrap your yarn and three double crochets into this first stitch. So one, two, and three. Skip three stitches. So skip three. One, two, three. We want to work into the fourth. You're going to see these nice big holes. That's a good thing about working with a big hook. So into the fourth stitch, one single crochet, chain two, and three double crochets all into the same stitch. One, two, and three. Skip three stitches and into the fourth one single crochet, chain two, and three double crochets into the same stitch. So you're going to pause the video and repeat that all the way along this row until you reach back to where you started. So skip three stitches and make a block into the fourth stitch of one single crochet, chain two, and three double crochets. So pause the video and keep going, doing that repeat all the way until you get back to where you started. When you get back to where you started, look for that chain two space of your first block. And we're just going to make one single crochet into that space, just like that and do your block. So chain two and three double crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. Now grab your stitch marker and pop it into that chain two space just to keep an eye on where our join is. You can also tell by your tail that we haven't sewn in yet. So I just leave that to the end just to make sure. And then we'll have a nice little line to follow up where we know our new row started. And now we're just going to work into every chain two space 
going along. This is a little kind of mountain on our shells or our blocks. So into the next chain two space, we're just going to jump straight over and make your block of one single crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. One, two, and three. Find your next chain two space and make another block. Single crochet, chain two, and three double crochets. All into that same space. And now keep going around and around and around. I'll show you what it looks like when we get to this stitch marker. So when you get back to your stitch marker, we're just gonna work into that like a regular space. We're just gonna put a block straight into there. So single crochet and three double crochets. So don't totally worry about moving your stitch marker up every single row. You'll eventually start seeing these lines going up and your stitch marker will just be somewhere near the bottom and you can just kind of follow it up and move it into the appropriate stitch up above right before the end. So now keep working around and around and making a block into each one of these chain two spaces all the way around and around until you have almost run out of yarn or your cowl is about 19 inches tall. So I have completed 25 rows. This is the very last shell or the last block of my 25th row. So I'll show you how to finish off when your snood is the height you want it to be or you're just about run out of yarn. So here is my join from the very bottom where my tail is. So to join, I'm gonna slip stitch one slip stitch just into that same chain two space we always have been. Chain two and turn your work. So we're going to skip a stitch right here. We're going to go into the second and third and also into the space. But we're skipping the first one. So jump to the second stitch, single crochet, single crochet into the next stitch as well, and single crochet into the space. Chain one. Skip a stitch into the second single crochet, into the next single crochet, and into the space single crochet, chain one. So every one of these little blocks gets three single crochets and a chain one. And that's going to give us a, a nice finish that matches the bottom of our snood and it won't, it'll have the same amount of stretch. So skipping the stitch at the very bottom. Working into the center stitch, one single crochet, the next one single crochet, and into the chain space, one single crochet, chain one. Skipping a stitch into the second, one single crochet, into the next, one single crochet, and into the space, one single crochet, chain one. So pause the video and keep working your way along, just finishing off the edge of your snood, skipping the first stitch and making one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the stitch after that, and one single crochet into the space with a chain one all the way along, and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. When you get back closer to where you started, our first real single crochet is over here. So we said finish this block right here this shell right before. So we're going to do the same thing, skip the first stitch, single crochet into the middle stitch, single crochet into the next, and single crochet into that chain space. Now I'm going to do an invisible join to join, but if you want to just do a slip stitch, You would go into that very first single crochet that we made, that first real stitch right here. You would just go in with your hook like you normally would, bring it back, slip stitch, chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and sew in your tail. But let me show you a really quick invisible join. So I haven't joined, I just finished my last single crochet right there. 
So take your scissors, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle, and pull your hook up and your yarn through that very last stitch that you made. So we haven't joined, that's my single crochet with one strand of yarn sticking out of it, and thread your needle. Now I'm using these sharp chenille number 14s for my ends, so I'm gonna be going in with the dull side, the side with the eye, but I will show you how to do that. So you'll still find that same stitch, that first single crochet, which is right here, where we, be, where we would be putting in our hook to join with a slip stitch. We're just gonna put in our needle. So if you're using a sharp needle, put it in backwards and drag that over. You wanna keep an eye on where your yarn is coming from, this, where your strand of yarn is coming from. We're gonna have to go right back into that same hole, that same stitch, so keep an eye on where your yarn's coming from. And just kind of shrink it down. You want it to kind of look like a regular stitch. So keeping an eye where it comes from, we want to go right back down into that same stitch. So I'm just going to put my needle in, dull side first, and shrink it down a bit and see how that looks like a normal stitch. That is what we want. We want it just to look like a regular stitch going all the way around. You just want to make sure you don't pull it too tight, and that is what it looks like. So finish sewing in your tail, and you are finished. So that is the invisible join when it is done, and you cannot see anything. There's no little lump on the top, and it is super easy to do. So now we're gonna join this up so it also matches. Our first stitch is right down here. If you want to pull that stitch over. So again, I'm going to go in with my blunt side just because I want it to mimic the yarn. A regular stitch like that. Back through this side. Just to even it out there at the bottom. And now I'll use the sharp side of my needle or the regular side. And just sew in that tail. Snip off your tail and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more quick and easy crochet tutorials just like this. And if you're on Instagram, you can find me at Secret Yarnery, Facebook, The Secret Yarnery. We also have a crochet group over on Instagram, The Secret Yarnery Crochet Community. Great place to show your work. You can upload photos and all that. So I'd love to see how yours turned out and what yarn you picked. And thanks so much for hooking along. We'll see you in the next video and stay hooked.